This is a 1976 beetle that I had big plans for. Pulled the body off and uh, completely rusted uh, pretty much everywhere. And so once I got the body off, I could see just how bad the car really was. Pretty much the whole bottom 8 to 10 inches of the car needed to be cut out. And of course you cut metal out and then there's more rust underneath. So, uh, you know, you end up with these gaping voids, and now what? Well, you start making templates uh, out of paper and just take it one little piece at a time, transfer the template to sheet metal, and, uh, you know, bend it, trim it, and uh, start tacking it in place. And uh, this went on for, I don't know, five or six years. Uh, this piece turned out pretty well. The heater channels were the toughest bit. And, uh, you know, it got a little intricate where a bunch of corners come together. I hit on this technique for um, using a crayon to take a rubbing of an area. And as you can see, even the bolt holes came through in the rubbing. To transfer that to metal, I used a bead roller to, to do that curved bend there. And then just... Uh, bolted it in place before cutting out the old bit, use it as a template to trim, and then uh, just tack the new piece in place and, and move on to the next thing. This bit was kind of tricky, as you can see, as a, as a flange that's sort of wedge-shaped, but it also needed to curve to match the profile of the body, and I used a shrinker to do that. Um, the area of back under the windows was completely rusted out, so I cut it out here. and I made this piece, again, with the curved flange using a bead roller, and the holes are just to add rigidity. It's not going to rust again, I hope, because I'm doing all the right modern coatings. You end up seeing the car from weird angles when doing this work. The dash, ugly uh, plastic 70s. Underneath it was the makings of kind of a cool metal dash like the early Beatles. And I like those early dashes, so I made that glove box cover on the right to mimic the early style, and but fit in the late dash. Uh, little stuff like filling in the ashtray. I just wanted this dash to be nice and clean. And here you can see I've got kind of roughed in. It's going to be a very simple dash. The floor pans and the frame head, that bit towards the bottom of the picture, is completely rusted out. Looks like it's been at the bottom of Lake Michigan or something. Uh, someone's actually done this job before on this car. After a lot of grinding and cleaning up it's looking nice and pretty and now we're really down to the bare bones here I made a jig before cutting off the old frame head to capture all the angles for when I weld the new one back on you can see I triangulated off the tunnel I also captured the caster angle because I wanted to make sure uh, to reproduce that that determines the steering feel so I'm leveling it, and here you can see I've got two carpenter's levels because like, I'm squ squaring it to the, uh, the rear suspension as well. These are the floor pans. I had them sandblasted, and that distorts them, so I used a shrinker to kind of bring them back into a plane. I had the body off and on the pan probably ten times to get everything fit and trimmed to, you know, just right. Here I'm filling in the little exhaust cutouts because my exhaust is not going to uh, be exiting through the rear apron. I plan to go fast in this car, so I'm making a roll cage and wanted to get all my welding settings just right for good penetration, so you could put this in a sledgehammer to make sure it was going to stand up. Uh, these are the plates to join the roll cage to the floor. Here are the door bar. You can see it's not going to clear a seat, so it needed a little bend where it joins the main hoop. Um, yeah, here, oh, there's a little bit of TIG welding. 
the joint was going to be visible, I tended to TIG weld it, and if it wasn't, um, not so much. So this is uh, cutting notches. Everything has to be mitered so it fits nice and tight where you've got uh, two tubes coming together. And um, then you get a nice, bit, uh, nice weld. This is TIG again. Other places I used MIG. Here it's joining the uh, corner of the body. So you see it's starting to come together here. Seat mounts, very important. I want it to be super rigid and safe and strong. The holes uh, just add rigidity uh, when you flare them that way. And uh, it's starting to look kind of racy. And I also located the seat off of the tunnel to keep it from racking side to side. And uh, it's going to be a race car. If you're into this kind of stuff, you might enjoy my new book, Why We Drive Toward a Philosophy of the Open Road. It comes out in June 2020. Uh, thanks for, uh, for watching.